Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Pisces. Hello Cross Watchers. This is going to be a reading for Pisces for February 1st to February 7th, 2020. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Thank you to all the new views. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all my current subscribers. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. So please remember that time is fluid. You probably come across this when you're meant to. And there's no way this can connect with every single Pisces out there. So if it doesn't connect with you, hopefully you know your moon, Venus, or and your Venus or your moon sign, and you can go watch those videos. Or your cusper, and you can watch that video as well of your other sun sign. Also, the masculine and feminine energies can be vice versa, as well as if I'm talking about a card and applying it to you, and you feel like it applies to somebody around you, feel free to vice versa that as well. So what else did I say? The feminine and masculine energies can be vice versa, but I didn't already say that. So I'm going to use the Mystical Cats Tarot deck and the Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck today. And I shuffle the decks before I turn the camera on, but I just give them one more shuffle. Another thing is I, I'm pushing everyone to learn about their birth chart so they learn more about themselves and their life. So last month I put the challenge out there for everybody to learn their moon sign by February 1st. So now by March 1st, I'm putting the challenge out there for everyone to learn their Venus sign. So that's your challenge for Mar for February 1st till March 1st is to find your Venus sign. Hopefully you did your moon sign last month. So the eight, I'm going to pull an angel and ancestor card in the beginning instead of the end anymore because they say the first card is an overall reading. And these are like oracle cards. So the first angel and ancestor card, the only one we have for you in this reading, is winter. Take care of your needs. And that's beautiful. Look at how strong he looks. Or she. The eyes look powerful. The face looks powerful. Just beautiful. So that's for you, Pisces, winter. Let me see what that says. So for winter, do everything you need to be at your best, then move beyond your fears and limitations. For many of the animal realm, winter is a time of hibernation and retreat. You may wish to curl up in a ball too, but although you may not feel as bright as you'd like to be, a primal force within is encouraging you to continue. The winter card features a wolf. One, a few animals that stay active all year round. Wolves know what it's like to work alone or thrive within a pack. So if you feel you need to go on alone at this time, know that wolf medicine will help you move beyond your insecurities and relax in your own space. You have an opportunity to move beyond your fears. Although you may feel in the dark, get comfortable with being in the unknown and trust that the light within you will sustain you through what may seem a challenging process. You may uncover something from your past that you have buried deep. Know that when you unearth it and shed light on it, you create space for miracles. You may feel like a lone wolf right now, but in time, it's time for you to be the alpha. When the winter card arrives in the future position of a spread, it can also indicate the coming winter will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Wow, that's pretty powerful. So now I'm going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot deck, and we have Seven of Fire. So Seven of Fire, Pisces, is you defending yourself to somebody. Somebody is coming at you, making you feel defensive. Cat Magic. So Cat Magic is you looking to the Divine for answers, I feel. And this wouldn't have came up if there's some sort of connection there. Pisces, so I feel like you're maybe getting downloaded with information or feelings and you're kind of asking why and what's coming and trying to prepare is what I feel with that card. The Divine has your back though. So Two of Fire is you trying to make a decision about somebody or something. I almost feel like it's a person. I don't know if you want to move forward with them or there's some something you're trying to decide. So the next one you have is Five of Sky. Again, this is you having to defend yourself. So you have two cards right off the bat of you having to defend yourself to somebody. Pisces. It's more than one person, too, is what it looks like. 
So then you have Seven of Sky. So this is somebody doing something behind your back when you're not looking Pisces. Somebody's doing something. Earth Queen. So Earth Queen could be you, Pisces, or it could be somebody around you. I feel like this person is really opinionated. It's their way or no way. They like things done their way. And I usually feel like this is an older card, an older person. But I feel like lately that's wrong to say that because there are a lot of young people who have very mature personalities and very, very mature. mature. They can act like an old person even though they're very young. So this is somebody who's just very strict and old school in their way or no way. So then we have Good Kitty. This is beautiful. So this is good karma coming your way. This is you looking to the divine and they're saying we have your back, Pisces. We got you. So for all this negativity that came out in the first two cards, or the first four, and then somebody doing something behind your back, this should make you feel secure, Pisces, that the Divine is aware of it. They have your back, and they're watching you. They're trying to warn you, but you're going to be fine. But however, this card is five of, wow, and I just dropped it, five of C. So I feel like somehow you have embarrassed yourself or hurt your pride, Pisces. And this card tells me it's worse to you than it is to anyone. Nobody's even around. And the kitty's acting, oh my gosh, look what I just did. I fell in the water. Is anyone looking? What am I doing? So there's no reason to feel that way. Nine of C. This is you either manifesting what you want your future to be like or dreaming of what you want your future to be like or dreaming of things you had in the past that you want to have in your future again. This is what I feel, Pisces. So we have three of Earth. This is co-workers. Something to do with your co-workers. Oh, Sky Kitten. This is somebody who's childlike. So childlike can mean a couple things. They're like the funny person at work or they're childlike. They do childlike stuff to make people laugh and people like that. So that's childlike behavior. This is Six of Earth. So this one sees is you being generous to somebody or somebody being generous to you. And I feel like this is good karma. So I feel like good karma is coming to you, Pisces. A lot of you. Ten of Earth. Again, this is good karma. This is generosity. Either you sharing your house with somebody or somebody sharing their house with you. Sky King. So Sky King is somebody really cold watching you and observing you, Pisces. They're just watching you and not saying anything. To avert. This is you having strength and balance. So who's ever watching you, it doesn't matter. You're doing what you need to be doing in life and you don't understand why they're spying on you. Fire Kit. This is the start of something new. So this could be a new friendship. I feel like it could be a hobby as well. So you have to be careful because the cat could get burned. It's touching the flame. You have to be careful to something coming in. So I'm going to switch over to the Chakra Wisdom Tarot deck now. Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands, Pisces, is you moving into your future. And you're leaving something behind you. I don't, you just, you're... You've been thinking about something and thinking about it. I feel like it's negative, lower energies, friends. You're just leaving. You're ghosting them, so to speak. So this is a magician. This is a couple things, Pisces. This could be you feeling confused in your thinking process. Or it could be magic coming into your life. Like magic where it's almost going to seem too good to be true. Which hopefully it's this, correct? Ace of Wands. This is beautiful. So I think it is magic. You have the Eight of Wands, the Magician, and now the Ace of Wands. So you're thinking about leaving and moving into your future. You do. It seems magical. And then you have Ace of Wands. This is an opportunity. A very good, successful, happy, smart, right opportunity coming your way. And you're taking it, Pisces. Good for you. So Eight of Coins. This is you trying to decide who to move into your future with. So I feel like you have a friend, one in particular, maybe the one with the lower vibrations who is doing something, and you're trying to figure out if you want to move forward with this friend in your life or not, if you want to take them with you, because this is your identity chakra. So you're trying to decide, do I want this person in my life? I'm moving to a 
you know, a higher vibration, so to speak. I want to do good this year. I want to succeed. And is this person going to hold me back or is this person going to help me succeed is what I feel like a lot of you are thinking. And so far, all these, one, two, three, three of them are identity cards. And you have one sacral. And now you have a fast action communication. So this is three of coins. This is growth and promotion super, super fast, Pisces. So you're thinking about your coins. Yeah, fast. That is beautiful, Pisces. And this is the star. This is love. Love coming to you or love. This is your heart chakra. Love is around you or coming to you. It's growing. Of course, when you get coins, your coins grow. You always find love. Ten of coins is something to do with your birthright, your name, a family business, something to do with your birthright, inheritance, something like that. So king of coins, or queen of coins, wow, Pisces. So this is growth. I mean, you have this one, which is inheritance, and then you have this. This is intuition, and look at This is coins, and this is a big coin. So Pisces, 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 a lot of you are getting abundance in coins from inheritance, it looks like, and intuition, some sort of intuition where you know where you can get money somehow, and you were right. You're spot on. Ace of Coins. Wow, this is beautiful, Pisces. For the heaviness in the beginning of the lower vibrations, these are just beautiful. So this is success and victory. Very nice. So let me see. You have so Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and you have... Eight of Coins, Ten of Coins, Queen of Coins, Three of Coins, Ace of Coins. Oh my gosh. I have to get all these out now. I just realized. So, these are all your coin cards. On this side. I haven't got them out of the other one. So, look at this. So, this is Fast Action Growth. This is you deciding to put somebody that's not profiting your income out of your life. This is Inheritance. This is intuition and this is success and victory. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five cards on coins right here. Pisces. And of course this can't apply to everybody and I'm sorry I wish I could make it apply to everybody but that is beautiful. And nine of coins. I, I just can't even stress enough. I Pisces. I don't know what is going on with you guys this week out there but this is beautiful. I mean how many more coins cards are there? That's awesome. King of Swords. So we had to have this. So this is somebody who is going to analyze and cut out something that isn't serving. Which you are protected. This is you. I feel like the light and the sword and the dogs at the bottom is protected by the divine. You are going to cut something out. And I kind of noticed that looks like a heart up there. I never noticed that before. Wow. It's weird the stuff you notice when you're looking at the cards. Like certain times they want to point stuff out to you and they're like, look, look, look at this part of the card. This is what I want you to look at because this is what you're supposed to be talking about. So I feel like all these coins to come out and then that. I feel like you're going to have to protect yourself. If you come into all these coins in an inheritance or something, Pisces, you have to be very particular and selective on who you tell that to and who comes around you. You know your life, I don't, but you cannot just tell everybody when you come into abundance like that. You have to be very selective. I wouldn't. I'd tell very few. Just figure out how you're going to deal with it and what's going to happen. But you're going to have to cut somebody out or something is what that's saying. So then you have four swords. So this is making you feel really stressed out. You need to take a step back and rest because you're overthinking everything. Your heart is like stressed. And I'm not talking medically. I'm talking like emotionally. You're wearing yourself out. Because maybe you have the coins and now you want to spoil your love. And you're thinking, oh, should I, should I? Does this person love me? Are they worthy of it? So hold your coins. Hold off. Take a rest. Step back. Take a breath. And this is Eight of Swords. So now you're self-blaming yourself and you're in denial about something. Pisces, what happened all of a sudden? 
So what are you blaming yourself for? You feel guilty because it didn't work out with somebody and you came into abundance after that didn't work out? So Seven of Cups is you feeling disillusioned. Something has you disheartened, so to speak. Ten of Wands. This is She has ten, ten wands and then she has one she's thinking something about. So didn't you have another one? Um, where was that? Was that you or was that another one? So yeah, this wasn't you. So yeah, she has, she has one wand that she's going to fast act, communicate real fast. Something. Something she can't hold back and she's going to act on. The Hanged Woman. So this says there's a delay in something and this is intuition. So she wants to act fast, but her intuition is telling her to hold off. Do not act fast. Hold off. So two of coins. You can compromise and you have balance, Pisces. So compromise. Whatever's going on right now, you have to somehow compromise the situation. Be flexible. Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. So this is love offered. I, I mean, oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm, this is so powerful. I don't know if any of you Pisces really know. This is your identity. So you have Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Coins. Look at that. You had all those coins, and now you have love, opportunity, and success. Love, opportunity, and success. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. That is beautiful. Except for a little bit of denial and self-blame. You're self-blaming yourself and going in your heart a little. I feel like that you can't take everybody you want with you. It's weird. You almost It's like you have two different readings over here. You did have the cat magic in this other one, which is good. Oh, and you have the good kitty. So you got the cat magic, the good kitty. So that does tell me there's good cards over here. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. And see what comes up in those. Because I'm kind of anxious. This is a really powerful reading. So the Soul's Journey lesson card that comes up for you is failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So that's kind of a bummer that you have all these coins of success and then the failure card comes up. So I don't know if you had many failures before you got to where you are now on this reading. However this plays out there, Pisces, is that what I'm getting? Because I'm kind of unsure where the failure part comes in. So let me find one more. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So you have failure and worry, Pisces, after this powerful good reading. So I don't know if you're going to worry when you come into the abundance. And you're going to worry. Oh my gosh. So let me see. The first one to come up, failure. I don't know why I always put them backwards like that. I always do. It's strange. So life on earth is full of experiences. It is our brain that views outcomes as good or bad. The soul simply views them as chances to grow. Learn to see the big picture of life instead of the minute. Failure to accomplish a task is merely the opportunity to evolve and the negative connotation of the world failure can prevent you from trying again. You must come to the realization that there is no judgment involved with your soul's lessons. Realize that what you view as a failure is just your soul telling you that there is another path. Embrace the maximum when one door closes, another one opens. It is a time for you to stop any negative emotional investment you have in the, in the outcome. Reveal, revel in the knowingness that everything will reveal itself when it is meant to. No matter what, be true to your dream and the creative process. So I noticed... Um, Let me see, because I'm trying to find here. I noticed that something came out. The other card came out in this reading. So let me see. Um, okay, it is a time for you to stop any negative emotional investment you have in the outcome. That would be worrying. So the other soul lesson card came out in the failure one. So let me see worry and see if failure comes out in that one. That would be really ironic. Here's worry. Worry is a wasted emotion. It does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. When you expand too much energy worrying, it limits you and has an adverse effect on the natural energy of the soul. Worrying destroys the hope, faith, and excitement that are wonderful elements of the schoolroom called Earth. 
Remember that you are what you think and you have the power to create positive thoughts, which beget positive outcomes. Worry is a negative emotion and sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worries are you carrying around with you now? Examine them objectively in the light of love. Help your soul by releasing them and be fully connected to the current moment, which is where your power resides. Wow, powerful. So now I'm going to pull two fantasy cats oracle cards for you. So the first one we have is cuddling, number one. So I feel like a lot of you Pisces need a hug after this reading, huh? It's like, wow, come cuddle. This was all good until you got to the worry and the failure. But the failure just says we all fail. Do not beat yourself up if you don't make a right decision concerning something with everything going on. And next one is feeling. So you have one and two, which came out in a row, if that means anything to any of you. One and two. Feeling and cuddling. Oh. So let me see what it says. So it says, Dreams are guiding forces of life. Rumi reminds us what you seek is seeking you. Create a bigger magnet and increase attraction by giving love and affection to all who cross your path and do all things which hold meaning for you. Imagine what you want to see. See the result you desire in your mind's eye. Taste and smell it if it's already at hand. Behave as if you already hold your dreams. Soon enough you will claim it and draw it close to your expansive heart. Let your dream and desire know it is safe in your soft and capable hands. Feel yourself being cuddled by the divine universal force. A single gesture is all it takes to provoke magnificent results when you move in the space of love. And here's feeling. Open yourself to every feeling associated with your situation. Embrace the entire emotional spectrum, the light, the dark, and every shade in between. Allow an open flow and know you are protected. Emotions can't hurt you, even the scariest and saddest. The darkness defines the light. Darkness encourages the light shine brighter. Embrace dark and light with equal openness. Resistance breeds confusion. Repression is blockage. Walk for inspiration. Allow music to bring tears of melancholy and joy. Forget the mind and focus on your own heartbeat without judgment. Emotions are a way of gauging life's rhythms and results. Feel emotions without reacting out of them. Those who respond out of emotion are not acting in authenticity. Do not linger in extreme emotional spaces. So that's beautiful Pisces. I feel like you're coming into abundance and you're worrying. There's no reason to worry and hopefully you're not I don't know if some of you feel like you're a failure right now and you needed this reading to stop that thinking process and there's hope in this reading is all I can say in faith. I see abundance in your coins and that should be enough. I know love came out too and I know coins aren't enough for everybody but some of you are struggling right now and love has broke your heart and coins would upright you right now. I totally get that and that's what this could mean. So thank you Pisces. Thank you Cross Watchers so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.